So this will be first pick coming out from team one, and that'll be so Jedi actually going to get first pick, and the losers are the ones who actually want um, map picks. So the map choice is going to be coming out from the members of the Sith for game number two, as we have the readies from both teams. So I'm going to push the button. You and I are all set. So mm -hmm. we'll be heading to Infernal Shrines. Another map still. Sylvanas is, is massively uh, valuable here. We could be seeing things like Zul. Deathwing is still a a huge tool. Like. Yeah, that, that, I was actually very, very impressed with that character in that last game. Um, it seemed like they, well, to be fair, they actually got it at a reasonable price. Um, they were able to like force that Matthew pick, right? And and I had even said in the draft, like a lot of the times when you stick like a chin or a Matthew in the four man, it's like, oh, this is an interesting draft. And then like they just kind of get ran over because they're running four melees. Um, hmm. And like we saw exactly that there, right? Uh, turns out if Deathwing has something that's hitting him for percent health and trying to body block him, but he can smash W, he's just going to sustain infinite. And uh, yeah, he was able to just run over their team out. Valmar obviously playing a really good game as well, but uh, we do see the Sylvanas band uh, as well mm. as that Mephisto. I know it's continuing to see more and more play, um, figuring it's out a, that it's another good. Yeah, it's, turns it's out he just does Buku map, damage, right? <laughs> it's yeah. like. Especially, yeah, it's the same thing as the last game. Like, if there's going to be people grouped up, you're going to have those moments where he can just get cooldown reduction. He can get throw skull missiles, lightning nova, so it's going to be really powerful. Gray Man actually to be banned out. I think they want to go into that Deathwing immediately. Um, I don't think they'd show Gull, but I like to dream that they would. Um, going to ban out the Zul, though. Yeah, I think this is a fast Joanna? Deathwing. Joanna? She's strong here. It seems yeah. like Trimmer's comfortable on it, so he's just going yeah, like, to yeah. keep playing it. They were a really good anchor in the last game. Like Tremor played that Joanna really well, stepping the enemy team enemy team face. Like they had some massive condemns in that game. Yeah. Like yeah. So and I, I'm not surprised. I guess um, you know, like looking back and, and kind of what I was saying where they got the Deathwing at a good price, it, it came late in the draft. Like mm -hmm. I would say like early draft uh Deathwings tend to kind of get countered or yeah. Uh, responded to correctly so you know the early joanna pretty much an uncounterable character uh outside of the fact that uh she can only do one thing which is bless shield so if you can just yeah. draft a cleanse support not anna uh she's useless again i'm just gonna keep harping on joanna's uselessness but um yeah it's, it's just a standard character <gasps> and we see a little bit of juice Coming out from the side of the Jedi's after. Bless you, Valimar. Bless you, Valimar, for throwing yeah. the spice into into today's matchup. I love Samuro games. I can't play it because I'm 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 probably silver at heart. <laughs> so uh yeah, no, absolutely. I love a good Samuro game. You know, it's just it's 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 a it's such a very intense it's like Keldazad. Like I can always respect a really good Keldazad player because mm -hmm. like that takes a level of skill, in my opinion, to be able to hit that chain combo, all that kind of stuff. Um, and Samuro's like, it's just being able to swap at the last second. Um, they've actually been very, very popular as well in North America in some of the games that I've been playing because of the fact that you can use a lot of your clones to tank tower shots. That way okay. you can sit there and slap the enemy and reduce their armor by, you know, five up to, I believe, 15 with your level one and your two, you know, uh, illusions are just tanking all the tower shots. So Is that that's, how that really... that's how that works, right? Like if I clone as Abba, a Sam, and then I split in my Samuro form, and aggro, do my clones aggro, or does my real OG Sam aggro? I think on the towers, yes. The forts and keeps, no, because forts and keeps have true vision, so they would know which is the real one, maybe? I, I don't know, know if they take works. that into consideration. Yeah, I don't know how they take those into consideration at this point. Which one it would go to? Because I think in the past you could throw, like, Nova clones out, and those yeah. would tank shots? Yeah, they should. They, I don't they, technically, yeah, the Nova clone would prioritize over the Nova if she aggroed mm -hmm. under a building. But I don't know if that still works that way. That's kind of why I'm curious. Because yeah, well, if that did, then that would be like a really heavy way to deal with a new tower mechanic, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Now, I do like this. They, they're going to pick up a Sonya. Infernal Shrines is a strong map for her. But Sonya into Samuro is really great. Life Funnel level 7 is a really good way to just Ooh. heal back. Now, he can re be reducing your armor. But we have a Hanzo and an Alex Straza. And this is... There's like good aggro and also really like good control comp. coming out from Jedi. Like I really like their composition, but last pick on the right hand side, they need a little extra damage. Um, a Kalefoss wouldn't be bad here. Chain bomb on Samuro is really annoying because you can spread that around quite a bit. Uh, yeah. Shrine clear is good. Poke's really good. Gravity laughs will be a good setup with ETC. You have someone to nano boost. Oh, there they'll go, go Jaina. That's fine too. Just Jaina, nice Jaina Kalefoss. Like first. it can go yeah. either way. Either way for me. I like that. I, I I'll take a moment to admire that hammer pick as well. Um. 
definitely a character that's like very difficult for like a samurai Abba to deal with oh yeah, if they true. had just sieged up with the Ana, it would yeah. be almost impossible um and and i also really like the hanzo pick i was gonna harp on you know they need something i always talk about you know shrine getters and and characters that do shrine really well um hanzo's a really great one with the explosive arrow at four yep um so overall i really like the draft coming out from the jedis i i mean i also will say you know the sonya pickup uh awesome at doing the shrine as well pretty much ignores the existence of this entire team on the left as long as she makes sure not to spin on joanna's w there's nothing stopping her on the objective once she hits wrath at level 10 with the Ana behind her so it's going to come down to a game of chess in the sense of the Samuro comp being able to play the map very, very, you know, m- m- mobile and, and, and slippery. Um, meanwhile, the team fight and the death ballness of the side of Siths is incredibly strong and something that I don't even think can be stopped over an objective. So we'll see how this goes as uh, we hop into game number two on Infernal Shrines. Uh, Jedi is going to be up one as we see Valmar going to be playing that Samuro. Kelsier on the Hanzo. Legacy on the. I forgot what that character's name is. I'm going to be honest. Alex Shiraza, she's a thick Her royal one. Thickness. She's a thick Her royal one. thickness. Damn, she's thick. All right, uh, Trimmer's gonna be on the Joanna. I got filth on the Avatar. And on the right hand side, we got the members of Sith. We're gonna be seeing Nintori on the Jaina. Troy will be on the Rainer. Porky will be on the Ana. Vesper on the Sonya. And we've got Chichuggy on the ETC. And our cameras are still up. Yeah, they are. And we're not up. there anymore. No one can see me smiling over the fact that i've forgotten alex Charles's name because i didn't really think that character existed i don't really play her that much um, i want to i want to back things up really quickly um you said sonia 10 wrath of the berserker i don't know what talent that is that yeah. doesn't there's only one talent at 10 for sonia <laughs> and it's leap that's why uh, no, I, that's why i bought <laughs> silver guys no, <laughs> 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 Excuse you with I that I get to mean, gold, but I'm slowly I'm slowly falling towards silver. Don't you worry. With with my playstyle, I'll make it there very soon. Tremor's going to be just caught out right there, at least scouted out. And this will just be uh, consistent rotations between mid and bottom as they're going to be looking for experience in the early game here. I would expect them to break off in this next rotation to grab themselves a camp on the right and left side, maybe even making an invade uh, onto the left-hand side. Yeah, because at yeah. the one-minute mark, you want to really be on these camps, especially on Infernal Shrines. But without... You know, without the extra player and you have just Abathur up here with Samuro, th- it's a little difficult to, to make some of these plays. So this invade should come through e- easily for the members of the set. Yeah, and this is this is going to be their, their, their strongest sort of card that they can play in this game, is just continue to stay together, continue to push together. As long as the Ana doesn't get pressured out by, like, the Samuro, which in this case, you know, in the early game, that's not going to exist, right? Um... Is Sonya doing a good job of holding that aggro? They, they just have full control of the early game uh, phase of the map. Uh, obviously, as we continue to level, that might change, uh, but they are doing a great job here in the early game to get that experience lead as we see level four to three coming out. I do wanna, I wanna point something out real quickly as I'm waiting to see if we actually have a fight breakout down in this bottom. No, it doesn't look like it. Um, Sonya went tough as nails at level one. For anyone that doesn't know, every 16 seconds gains 60 physical armor. I thought they were gonna rotate. Uh, gain 60 physical armor uh, against the X enemy here. Basic attack, reducing the damage taken by 60%. Stars of three charges, refreshes 200% faster while fury movement uh, speed bonus is active. And so if you're constantly battling into a Samuro, you're going to get constant cooldown reduction on that. And if Samuro goes into level one way of the blade, which they did, they're going to be trying to reduce your armor. So I think it's a really good counter from the Sonya to be able to sustain uh-huh. into the Samuro even more so because they're just constantly getting cooldown reduction because they're just constantly brawling into Samuro. I, I love this. Like, I was just sitting here looking. I was like, that's a really good a- adaptation in response to what they've picked and how and what they're going up against. But we do have our first objective phase coming up here in just a second, 10 seconds specifically, and it will be a frozen Punisher as both teams are going to grab themselves their Bruiser camp for top lane. I think a, a funny interaction that a, a lot of people would like the, the 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 reasoning, you know, so why would you take Sonya Block when you're against a Samuro? Well, a Samuro doesn't really want to clone versus a Sonya. Uh, if he clones, his clones are just going to get eaten alive by her yep. spin, and she's going to sustain through it. So he really wants to stay, as you see here, um, off clone, right? He just wants to play as himself. Um, and being able to block those three or four auto attacks that come in from him um, is great for Sonya, uh, as she's able to pretty much ignore his damage and force the clone to happen, in which case, again, she starts to spin. So 30, 30 lead here on the Skulls uh, for, for the side of the Sith. 
a really good first objective here. Clearing up that camp and the Punisher probably going to be started here soon. Uh, we do see, mm -hmm. you know, now with the new change to the towers, the Punishers aren't getting as much value. Um... Because you're not able to be aggro with them past the, past the structures. Oh, Troy, Jesus. Troy, yeah, please. here we go. This you is why this is why we're not allowed to be aggro with these Punishers anymore. Um, we're usually just getting walls. Uh, the Altrazer mm -hmm. Dragon is going to be popped here. And Sonya's moved off now, trying to catch back up in the XP. Uh, they may be losing to the Abathur Samurai. Yeah, they actually were rotated. They had Abathur uh, physically soaking the bottom lane as they were... Um, also heading mid lane at the same time. The Punisher does lock down the towers. So they can play this a little aggressive right now. Unfortunately, they're not able to step in with said Punisher far enough. They get the front gate, ETC. Not cons uh, they're considering the slide, but they realize it's just Joanna. There's no real point in doing that. So we're just gonna go ahead and back off and get back into lane rotations. But um, the big thing that I want to point out, I mean, they they the entire time of that, I would say the majority of that that shrine, they had just Sonya doing Sonya things while the rest of the team just pushed up the lane, and that's a huge advantage with Sonya on this map. Really great sleep dart from Porky right there, just catching the, catching Valimar as they just come off here and they get a little damage on Troy. but now another camp invade coming out from Vesper and Nintori. Yeah, just continue to keep that camp control up, right? Keep the map pressure. It's a good way to deal with the Abathur uh, being on the map, right? If you continue to send waves into his team then they have to be there to defend them and thus his side soak is not as effective even though he's doing a good job here in the bottom lane but you know the camp is going to happen they're not really losing experience by doing this uh, as you can see their experience lead is still there and they just need to continue to maintain that uh, that's super important versus the samurai apathy comp if they are able to get an experience lead and use that and abuse that uh, that's usually where they'll find their leads and advantages so we are going to be seeing level 10 come out here soon, and we'll see what happens from there. Yeah, we do have Mule come down from Abathur just to try and heal up this gate, but uh, Jane is unfortunately going to clear that out and continue to siege in right now as they open this up a little bit further. I like this this little pre-push uh, they're doing on the side of the Sith just to open up bottom lane for themselves. If the next Punisher goes over in their favor, they're going to be able to just walk into that tower range or, well, at least maybe try and play around the tower range because the Punisher is going to need to do the brunt force of this uh, of the kind of that tanking initially. Ten talent tiers here for both sides, or yeah, for both sides, and... Uh, Nothing so far out of the ordinary as it looks to me. Alex draws a holding, and so is Joanna. This is a, I'm, I'm like thinking about the level tens, and it's interesting. Chijuggy with Mosh Pit is kind of I don't want to say free, but an arrow is gonna have to be used. And you can see here Valmar. So what I was talking about, he doesn't really want to clone. Um, he's able to clone there as a way to kind of blink himself forward, but all of that damage that he just achieved immediately got erased in doing so so level it's seven it's not something that yeah the, the the extra healing on spin at seven coming out from the sonya it's not something that he really wants to do he wants to just have the hat get in some slices and dices and get out of there um trying to chunk down the sonya uh to a, a, a killable health range well, we do have our next Punisher popping up. Will be Mortar for bottom lane. We do have Sonya just doing some doubles. Actually, she's just going to split off, it looks like, and grab themselves the Shaman Camp for top lane. Might get some help from the friendly team just to speed things up a little bit so they're not going to be losing any sort of positional advantage. Looks like Ventori will be the one to do that. It makes sense. I mean, just Jaina's, Jaina's burst overall would be enough. Um, Valmar going to sneak this? Could kill Ventori here, this, actually. Oh, no. Scared. No, they think Scared better of money it. They don't make money, it. Baja. That's all I'm trying to say. <laughs> opting to not take the fight and the objective has started we are at a 4-4 here um but the sonya is coming wrath of the berserker is up i assume that it will be popped immediately liam playing correctly i think uh we saw a week before sonya was waiting to pop the wrath ended up getting storm bolted and died um <laughs> But the objective is uh, going towards their their favor now 26. look at look at, at joanna's heroic really quick Oh god. Didn't you say she only has one heroic in draft? Yeah, I, yeah like... I mean, she's trying to figure out a way to get to that <laughs> Ana, right? I think so. Hyperion's gonna be coming through from the Rainers. We do have the uh, Nana Boost on to Nintori. That's gonna be Alex Graza popping the Dragon Queen. Tremor's gonna drop down in the uh, Bless. Oof. Oh my god, excuse me. And the Falling Sword Mosh Pit comes out. That's gonna be an arrow ripped immediately as they do find an interrupt, but they end up getting the Alex Graza kill. Jump from the Punisher comes over. Oh. Sleep Dart following through. Kelsey, you're so very low. Will the Mortar Punisher chase enough? Won't be enough, but here's the nice thing. Wait, Parky? There's no way. <laughs> Porky, Porky, Valmar, kill him! Porky! Don't let him do that to your team! 
the nice thing, at least for the members of the Sith right now, is that since there was no one to really play around that that bottom lane uh, fort, there was really no one to worry about, like, oh, it's going to aggro on me if I accidentally hit a hero. So now they could see Jin as four down there, and they just chased with Porky, which was weird. But either way, Vesper's going to grab the camp for bottom. Looks like they're just going to clear out mid lane and uh, just let the Punisher do its thing in bottom. Yeah, this will get cleaned up here. The, the towers are going to go down, though. Um, and with mule taken, you hate to see structures go down, right? Um, you want to... You want to try to get that mule value. You want to keep things alive as long as possible um, if you're going to be taking that talent. So we'll probably see them show up to the middle lane and try to hold this off. The Joanna is pretty solid wave clear. Uh, so she should be able to do this by herself. Hanzo as well helping out. Uh, the camp's going to be taken here. And I assume that they'll just continue to hammer into this middle lane. They, they, want, to, they want to try to, again, get rid of that mule value. Uh, finish off the structures that they start uh, and let those camps that they're taking create the pressure for them on the map. Meanwhile, you know, Sonya doing her best. Make sure that Samuro doesn't get out of control. She's a great character at doing it too, so. We do a bottom mid lane, excuse me, a uh, little bit of just pressing this up with the camp. Arcane Punisher will be next in top lane. Should be seeing the announcement that fairly soon. And they're just going to step forward, and I think, yeah, with the Condemn, they're going to be able to pull this in. Hanzo does have the Explosive Air at level 4 to help clear things out a little bit quicker, and Alex Straza is going to be that uh, Flame Buffet build. She's actually at 18 out of the 20 stacks on that one. We've got Hanzo finished out with the level 1 quest. Jane has already finished out the level 1 as well. The Fingers of Frost and Joanna's just waiting to find four members to be stacked up for them to be able to finish this do. Also, to check in, we do have 5k roughly on the Jaina's baseline quest, so she's got a little bit of a ways to go when it comes to getting her ice block, but they're going to look to pressure this in even further as they do have a wave coming in. Can they make this happen, or is it just going to be forced back? I think, you know, as I look at the, the comps and how the, the fights are going to go, they're going to really need a good flank, right? They're going to need a good flank um, from the side of Jedi's to kind of deal with that back line. They need to try to one-shot on, and they need to one-shot Jaina, and they need to one-shot Troy um, on the Raynor. Uh, they can't deal with the Sonya uh, without dealing with those components of the side of Sith, so... I think as we get into the later stages of the game, especially with that Samuro pick, he's going to look to look for that side flank, right? Maybe a side arrow. Uh, they need to say spread, not to give big mosh pits as they did the, the, the previous fight. Um, mm -hmm. and, and, and just, you know, work their angles, right? They really are going to have to work their angles. I'm interested to see what 16 Samuro is going to take in. At level 13, he's actually taken uh, Mirrored Steel, uh, which gives his... Samro's basic attacks against heroes reduce the cooldown of mirror image, so he's able to mirror image more often. Uh, mm -hmm. I would have liked to see Shikuchi come out here, the blink, just to yeah. give him that extra something. But you can see here, right, his positioning on Porky is very good, but Porky heads up play, here <laughs> sleeping the brush behind him. Um, and Valmar just has to retreat away, which is not something you want to do when you, you're finding a position on the Ana, right? Well, they do have that press the attack. So that's typically what we see at okay, level 16, go, yeah. and that's and that's that's like that. Press the attack is like, all right, well, I got my kit. 20 is just a, it's cool to have, but uh, we can actually see really quickly. Abathur is going to be down in that bottom lane, so they'll probably. Oh, actually, no, they're going to pop a hat immediately. Sonya did pop Wrath of Berserker, so they're going to be just working their way through these skeletal defenders already at uh, almost 10 right there. Is they're just going to be on the point while the rest of the team is like, oh, we're just going to back out of this. Sonya, <laughs> make your way out if you can. And Tori and friends are actually going to work their way back towards the shrine halfway through all these skeletal defenders. This is what we were talking about in draft. How well Sonya does on these shrines when you just leave them to their own business as ETC finds a power slide. This is going to be the Smurricons doing their best to get some damage onto Troy and split them from the friendly team. Valmar is able to get away for the time being. That's going to be Healing Circle from Legacy as they pop that Dragon Queen form. We have a huge Hyperion coming out from the Reina. There's going to be a backline falling sword from Charmer trying to find Porky. They, they do find them that time as that's Hanzo ripping an arrow. Mosh becomes up from the ETC. Dust. A lot of members dancing. Is there anything? Is there anything to interrupt it? Doesn't look like it. The Punisher did go over to the side of the Sith as Jishuggy is just going to be splitting from the friendly team. Got Filth is going to swap because they did. This is the clone. They're going to swap again. <laughs> Jaina went down on the right hand side to the Alex Straza, but Alex Straza goes down. So does ETC. Punisher jumps backwards. It's going to be a one for two, I believe. Yeah, I'm, I'm upset for Legacy. I'm just going to say it. He, he he just got ditched by all of his friends to go kill that ETC. He was able to <laughs> solo kill the Jaina out there, which is nice. It, it, it ended up being a three for one. The objective did go over to the side of the Sith. Uh, but mm -hmm. honestly, that, that fight went about as good as possible. They opted to sacrifice the objective for a team fight, and they were able to find it, picking up a kill, and probably only losing a fort. Um, 
and gaining an experience lead. This is something that we can't sleep on. The fact that the Abathur is existing um, allows him to continue to split the map, continue to pressure off lanes. And, you know, we're going to work our way into... At this point, it looks like we are going to be able to hit level 20 for both sides. So, yeah. you know, a couple kind of blowout heroics that we're going to start to see is that Nano 20 on the Janna, able to sustain her up. We're going to see Samro's, you know, longer, I would call them infinite clones. Um, just... They stay around forever. Uh, so a few of these talents are, I think, going to be the, the, the make or breaks for each of these teams as we work in our way into a level 20 uh, on Infernal Shrines. Man, we're, we're getting closer and closer. Uh, next shrine is actually going to be bottom. I want to point out, we haven't had a... I don't think we've had a mid lane shrine yet. Like, we've had top, bottom, top, top bottom, bottom, I think. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Which is so probably... Just... I'm trying to decide, who, who do you think that's favored for? In these engagements, um, based on their compositions, I kind of feel like it's just working out for for Sith. Sith, yeah, especially, right. Especially especially top, like because Sonia, she can she just hides she up in there. Yeah, 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 yeah. And, and like bottom's a little bit more open and exposed, but even then, like she's just got more escape routes, and she hasn't really been in many. Like, has she died yet? No, she hasn't. No, she's, she, she probably won't die for the the entirety of the game. Dealing 21,000 heroic damage casually, um, 2,000 yeah. behind the Jaina. Samuro, though, just to, just to let you know, is at 32,000, so whew, just a wee bit on that boy right there. But um, <laughs> level 20 going to be coming through uh, for both teams fairly soon, as we also should be having our next shrine announced fairly soon as well, as I'm just peeking around the map just to see what's pressing in. It looks like there's just one Impaler down in bottom lane. Do they find do they find Belmar? No, that's just a clone in top lane. Yeah. He, he does a good job of using that new clone mechanic, right? You want to let your clones hit minions so that they can stay alive. Um, mm -hmm. And then he rotates himself. Uh, it's not typical to see that, but with, I think with the new way that the character works, it works a little better because then you can rotate to the next lane. And if you want to stay there, you can. And if you want to TP back, if the opportunity in the other lane is still there, then you can choose to TP back because the clones will still be there, right? Um, if they're not handled, they'll keep pushing as well. Um, we are seeing level 20 picked up here. We do have a double hat coming out from the Abathur, which is a, a really strong power spike, especially considering oh, yeah. the movements we shield at 16. Um, like I said, we have the infinite clones, as I would call them. They just last forever. <laughs> uh, and I think the 20 talent there on Alex Straza too, right? Ancient Can we... flame. Joanna's, Joanna's 20. I love it so much. Like in a brawl, oh, okay. it yeah, is... Yeah, this is it... very good too. Playing this in a brawl is fun, but like this actually does get value here, especially if oh, everyone's yeah. all clumped up. You get so much cooldown reduction uh, whenever someone's basically underneath you before you fall down. So, I I think this is this is a great pickup, but this might be the first shrine going over to the side of the Jedi. We'll have to see here as this is going to be up and available in five seconds. Everyone kind of getting back into position. Twenty talent here on both sides. Etc. Holding going to actually be tour bus for Etc. So no death metal for them. We've seen them kind of just trying to maneuver that, that mosh pit as we are going to be having this uh, shrine open available, and we'll see who's able to grab this right now, McIntyre. Yeah, Trimmer doing his best to apply some pressure. We do have a 16-4 difference. Valmar on the side trying to hit the Sonya. I, I just don't think that this angle is going to work. He needs to be a little more creative with his clones. And we see the Falling Sword actually connecting on the back line. Valmar does find Troy. He does knock him away. The mosh pit on the... Alex Straza, is she going to fall? Legacy able to get his ultimate off, healing up Valmar. Nintori taken down very low. He is going to fall. Quirky as well, probably falling to the flame from the sky. Alex Straza landing here. Applying that death, that uh, flame buffet with every so auto attack. So Sonya just in so hard, just 1v5. I've got to punish you, don't worry. Just spinning and winning, takes down the Alex Strauss. That is die. just ridiculous. She can't this, die. Uh, clone of clone of Joanna over here on the right-hand side is going to expire soon. Just going to harass them a little bit. Punisher jumps backwards. Dear Lord, Vesper, please. <laughs> He's actually taking really low here. Oh, no. Scatter the falling, falling sword. sword. Knock him out of the spin. He can't spin. Oh my god! Pushed gosh. all the buttons they could. Sith is, there's, that's an ace. They're all dead. Do they just are they just getting a keep here though? The mule coming down, probably able to stop this. I would assume. Sam Rose is coming to save the day. It should be enough. He's gonna get jumped on though. Sadly, he could have played that better. Could have cloned the second the jump happened. Oh my! Hello? Yeah, Mort Mortar Punisher slaps. <laughs> Okay. It slaps pretty good. <laughs> I think now he'll TP off to his clones. This is good and this is good and, and dandy. Yeah. The mule will save this up. Uh, but we do see like 
wall in ace is happening nothing else is happening on the map right forts are mm -hmm. super important if they can get this mid fort down especially since we've noticed mid objective hasn't spawned we have to Should hope be. and assume that it would be the next one having that fort and, and, and getting rid of that retreat path for the ana for the jaina um, and allowing samuro to really now you know look at these deep flanks he can come from hards he can come from yep. easies he there's, there's all these different angles now that he can play uh the catapults uh, hello cat is heading for 354 it's gonna get oh. one more won't oh. be enough to take it down core was or not, not core uh keep was at 910 health right there but they're gonna get that mule on it so it's gonna heal up Mid a objective. little bit from that does it actually does it say no it just heals 90 health oh. every one second um, Mosh Pit comes out, Torbus will follow, the Iron Skin from Joanna, that's gonna be the arrow from Hanzo as well, Hyperion's gonna be on top of all of the Falling Sword from the Joanna as well, as they're just gonna have the Alexstrasza Cleansing Flame coming down, Vesper kinda low over on the left hand side, doing their best to spin, pushes the, um, one of the, uh, one of their buttons right there, I can't remember which one, if that's gonna be, uh, Iron, uh, yeah, Nerves of Steel or Iron Skin, or Ignore Pain, Wait, either way. I blinked my yeah. eyes and Hanzo died? Wasn't Joanna yeah, the, uh, it was like, it was the, the back. It, the, it was the backfire from his own arrow. I honestly don't know. He existed. <laughs> I think he exploded from his own arrow. He was just too close. It's a new mechanic in the game. Cool. If you didn't know this, you can't just point blank rip arrows. You get backfire now, and it kills you. Kappa. What? We do just have... What happened? I, I I would I need to find a replay for that. Someone get a clip <laughs> in the chat. I, I'm very curious. I knew that the mosh pit happened, right? And then mm -hmm. the arrow connected to stop it, which was great. And then Hanzo was dead. I was like, <laughs> this was neither of the targets that they were aggroing. We finished the fight and you said it and I was like, oh yeah, he did die. <laughs> he just like, I didn't even notice. And I was just like, I was like, there's just everything got popped at once. But we might have another engagement popping up over here as Vesper is going to be targeted by the, uh, by this, by Valimar. We actually have a Hanzo ripping an arrow play. The game gets them back into this fight as a lot of members are getting very low on the right hand side. Sith needs to back off as uh, this is a very low Vesper who did pop Wrath Berserker. Just going to spin away. Just going to spin out of here. And uh, I think that's a, just a disengage on that engagement right there. It's actually a really, really good play if they can keep Vespertine off of minions. He won't have Wrath up for the beginning of this objective, and it'll allow them to get like a 20 skull lead at least. Um, while yeah. he is very resilient on that objective, if for whatever reason Wrath is down, the amount of healing that he gets and that kind of safety that he, that he can feel disappears. Um, not having the CC reduction, things like yep. that, uh, make it a much more difficult to be in, in the middle of it all. Uh, but you actually see the Sony in the bottom lane looking, just trying to find some vision, potentially a back door here. Going to be very difficult into the Abathur. Um, but you can see the shrine hopefully Wait. is getting started. It is going to be a backdoor core. It's, the mine has been hit. They need to all get the backs. Juggy's going to do his best to stop these backs here. But if Sonya does find her way to the core, it's going to be very hard to stop this. As you see the Hyperion coming out as well. A nice arrow from afar. Oh. Is it going to connect the root as well? Rainer taking so much damage, but the arrow is going to be the double Kata and the Spears. Sonya still got Harden and Tori on the core. Icy Veins. And Sith picks up a nice little back door. Game number two going to the side of Sith. And we take the series to 1 1. Kaleo the Clip King in chat. <laughs> Hanzo Death. Like. I gotta, just, I gotta you, watch it. I have to watch you, this. You, you just, you just like, you just have to think about about Kaleo, and he's just he's in your chat. So he did use play of the game. He fell. Oh, oh dear lord! Did he take damage from Rainer? Holy crap! 